Hey, this is Anthony from Zilla. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese X-Tour D-Dry Glove, available at RevZilla.com. This is the X-Tour, new for the spring of 18, two season cold weather touring at around $150. Now it's D-Dry, waterproof, breathable, and it also uses the Dianese ErgoTech Knuckle. Overall, two season cold weather won't break the bank. But if I am in your shoes, and I want a two season cold weather waterproof breathable glove with protection from Dionese, I might be saying, well that's great, but I wonder how much it costs for the Gore-Tex version. This is where you win and Dionese potentially loses. This glove is the X-Tour. There is also a glove in the Dionese line called the Freeland, and it's called the Freeland GTX. And there are two distinct changes. The first is that it is a Gore-Tex glove, waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life. Better, gore to, uh, better waterproof scheme than this glove. The second is that it uses a regular hard shell knuckle, not the Ergotech knuckle. But the biggest thing that doesn't change is the price. The Freeland GTX is $150. So if you're looking at this glove and saying, the only reason I, I'm most in love with the Ergotech knuckle, buy this glove for two, two season cold weather mid-range touring. But if you're saying, I like the Ergotech knuckle, but ultimately functionality, breathability, and Gore-Tex carry stronger sway in my book, I'm gonna immediately tell you that you can continue watching this video, but what we should really do is go check out the Freeland G GTX, which is, in my opinion, better glove for the dollar. And ultimately, if I look at this glove and I say, the X-Tour can live within the Dionese family, I just think it should be 20 bucks less. Call this the $130 range versus the $150 range. I know they're gonna get mad at me for saying that, but hopefully that helps you make a better decision and find a glove that will cover your bases, be warm, waterproof, and breathable while also being protective through the wintertime riding season. Now, quick note on fitment, if you wanna continue to watch along here, it's going to be a large, I typically find that Dionese, I'm in that large, extra large range, depending depending on the gloves. It is a sample though, I would err on the side of the normal Dianese fit and buy an extra large if you are large and more American cut gloves. In your Icons, in your first gears, even in your uh, Revits these days, I wear a size large. In Dianese Alpine Stars, I typically am an extra large. Use a size chart, we'll ship free over 30 bucks. And I love it if you click our logo, leave me your comments and questions or feedback, or just tell me why you completely disagree with me that for around the $150 mark, Ergotech Knuckle beats Gore-Tex. Now, diving into the glove itself, I actually really like a lot about the execution of this glove. Stretch, neoprene, high-vis colorway, handful of different colors, and again, you get that Ergotech knuckle that really allows you to have a hard part knuckle where the knuckle elements are disconnected. Moving to the fingers, a lot of stretch. Moving to the thumb, I have my visor wiper. The only thing I don't really love at $150, and again, this would carry over to that Freeland as well, is Clarino in the palm. I wanna see goat. I wanna see something that's not synthetic suede. In my opinion, when synthetic suede gets wet over a usage or a long usage cycle, it breaks down faster, obviously, than a leather would. But if you're investing in that level, I wanna see something a little beefier. Now, they give you synthetic leather reinforcements here, control areas, crook of the thumb, outseam, that's great. Give me a singular patch capturing the outseam and give me this on the whole palm and I'll be a little happier. Also, touch tech in the index, but not in the thumb, so you can't pinch zoom, but you will be able to work an iPhone or an Android device. Notice, dual cuff closure, basic wrist strap, we know what that does, and if you get here into the cuff, nice big cuff to be able to get a jacket down into it, and then ultimately plenty of room to cinch it down, potentially going under the cuff as well. I actually really like what Dianese is doing with its cuff schemes. If we look at this, little bit of reflectivity kind of worked in here, but ultimately this is the X-Tour D-Dry, and for all of the reasons that I called out earlier around waterproof breathability, and really the difference when you get Gore-Tex, ultimately you know where I skew. Last thing here is it is Dexfill, which is a thermal material. It's not just gonna be the waterproof breathable D-Dry liner, you do have a thermal element, and that's why I consider this fall, winter, late fall, winter, and early spring. This is a cold weather glove, not a three season moderate through cold weather glove. They make plenty of those. The next step in your journey is click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at RevZilla.com, read other rider reviews, you shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship free over 38 bucks. If you wanna to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detail breakdown. Remember, subscribe to RevZilla on our YouTube channel. Set up date with our opinion of the latest and greatest in the moto universe. And you should write some notes to Dianese and tell them about getting the price right on this guy and maybe they'll change it over time. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.